Today we decided to replace this window scrapper because the water protrudes inside the door. And today we're gonna show you how to do this on your used car. Patrick's Garage And first we have to remove the old one and we should be very cautious to not scratching the paint. Volvo decided to implement this crappy design of window scrappers uh, since 70s. In 60s, they was in good quality. You can see more closely this window scrapper. If water penetrates inside the door, will be better to replace this window scrapper. But you never can avoid weightness inside the door for 100%. Water always protrudes from the side window inside the door room. But we must to do this minimum as much as it possible. And you know, door panels very often suffer from penetration of water inside the door. So from this problem, owners of classic car have to replace door cards. Now we need to, to disconnect window from rolling mechanism to get access for our window scrapper. You know this uh, side uh, window seal consists of two parts. There is securing clips of our side window, so you don't want to lose them. We don't want to brush it aside because we need a good working access. You need gloves anyway because this mechanism always greased. And here you see parts which we removed. We're not going to remove uh, glass out of the drawer completely. We just want to disconnect it. Maybe we can skip a glass disconnection. Albeit, uh, work can be accomplished with uh, additional difficulties. In Volvos from 60s, there is no any problems with window scrappers. Volvos in 70s really shoddily made cars. And when they're badly treated, they can't last forever. And since we have Volvo from 70s, we have incentive to take care of it. There should be additional roller to press uh, glass to the window scrapper to not allow water to go inside the door. They not do them since 70s. They don't do what they supposed to do. Cars from 60s has all goodies that we've ground a lot. But since 70s they decided to do cars more cheaper. And that not contributes to longevity and more hardly to save money by keeping old car forever. But we keeping car by taking great care of them. We can't revert our car for condition from 60s and this is not our purpose. Thing is that we not just quibble, they are really more crappy. Really shabby condition of this holder. Here is a window scrapper for rear door. So this is more longer and we can use this uh, window door scrapper for the front door. And it will be a waste improvement because they are more shorter than it should be. Patently in 60s they were more better. So you can use from junkyard these window scrappers for the front side window. Probably in 60s was higher quality than in 70s. And in general I think that Volvo engineers started to lose their marbles since 70s. It's patently absurd to do the window scrappers with this design. You can estimate their quality difference by a lot of things. And just simple window scrappers. And we see their attitude to clean tail. So they not put this central roller. This small wheel at the center pushed uh, the glass to the window scrap. So water can't protrude between them, between window scrapper and window, window glass. 
I'm always found differences between car from 60s and car from 70s. And now I found out this that kind of peed me off. And here remnants of old kind uh, blue particles, I suppose. A really stupid design. Now that's just their way it go. And obviously we still pissed forever with modern cars. When we was kids, we never envisioned that new cars will be crappier than the old ones. Here was installed this roller. They not bothered to change their door panel design. What the heck is going on? It will be its breakfast. And doors uh, really suffer from penetration, the water between window scrapper and side window. Here you see I am fixed it and we want to cut it so you can take it from another used car. And this part holds our window seal. Clean it, little bit rusty with sandpaper you clean it. So our door should be ready for replacing for installation the new window scrapper degreasing the surface. So the odds that it will not stick should be at minimum. And if you geeking out with Volvos, you know that they not so crappy as in other cars. Good reliable cars available for restoration. So a lot of dirt you see. And you know we decided to use a cylinder fixation and to prevent penetration of water inside a door room not too much humidity in the inside area of door in case of classic cars used cars sealant always can be useful so with old car you can deploy the sealant for full program especially to prevent penetration of water inside the car, inside the car interior. As you see, I've cut it at the edge, this window scrapper, this rubber seal, and we fixate it with sealant, so water not going to leak through the side window. With tape, fixate it a little bit. You know, I have two Volvos, so I can compare them. Thanks that I can realize which was better, which was worse. Yeah, always something can be wrong with old cars. And as you know, you learn the most not by what goes right, but what goes wrong. So you repair, you learn, you study. And do you know when something wrong with one part, it always contagious to another part. You know water goes through this uh, old uh, window scrapper, penetrates inside the door room, so water goes through our cardboards, door panels destroyed from water. And when door cards sweaty, you get horrible smell inside the car and with this perseverance we want to stop water leaks inside the car interior we hope here we little bit squeeze here is you know metal inside and we want to squeeze it not to squash it too much so sealant not to go out so you see nothing difficult you can gladly do this work yourself. And main thing to prevent a detrimental effect from penetration water through the side glass, through the this window scrapper. So we have to use to that Volvo since 70s have a lot of works. And in a lot of cases we have to redone a lot of now, things. truly say I'm really satisfied but by this work. 
and let's hope that water not will leak too much inside that door. Now thanks for watching, talk to you soon again.